Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Collectible review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the full set for the large talking Sonic X figures that were released by Fever and also Toy Island. Okay, so these figures were released to coincide and promote the television show Sonic X, which was broadcasting on various networks uh, around that time. These figures were released in 2005, and I can very fluidly remember picking these figures up from the shop. I believe it was around the summer of that year, and each figure retailed at £15 each. Um, for you American viewers watching this video, that's probably around $23, $24. So not a bad price considering these figures are pretty large. Now, there were three re-released versions of these figures over the years, and that sounds a little bit confusing, and I'm going to try to explain it to you as best as I can. Basically, this model of these figures has certainly gone through the rounds over the years. This large talking uh, figure line was originally released in 2000. This is the first release of these figures, and it was to coincide and promote Sonic Adventure 1 on the Dreamcast. It was the exact same looking figures, however the box design was completely different. It was all Sonic Adventure 1 themed and you had Dreamcast logos and you had illustrations, uh, some of the very famous Sonic Adventure 1 illustrations that you've all seen before. Um, from what I read, uh, the first released versions of these figures, the Sonic Adventure 1 ones, didn't also contain a plastic covering at the front. It was all completely open. And um, they was under the manufacturer name Toy Island. Now there's two manufacturing names that come to mind with these figures. Uh, these ones have got the Fever manufacturing name on them. And let me explain that as well also. Basically in America, these figures as well as, all the, uh, as well as many of the other Sonic Adventure and Sonic X figures at that time was released under manufacturer name Toy Island. However in the UK and I also believe Europe they was released under the manufacturer name Fever. I'm not entirely sure on the details of why that is. It must be something to do with copyright or whatnot. However an interesting little fact uh, on the soles of all these figures as well as the small released versions of these figures it actually has the Toy Island uh, copyright logo here which is a little bit interesting so they didn't want to actually put the Fever logo on the bottoms of these shoes but yeah going back to the re-released versions of these figures after Sonic Adventure 1 they re-released these figures again however it was in the Sonic X promotion as you can see in front of you here now these aren't the second re-released versions of these figures these are actually the third the second versions of these figures released it had it essentially looked exactly the same as here however it did not contain the talking function and it didn't contain a base which is a little bit strange because these figures are 15 pound and i believe both versions were released around the same time and i really can't see the other figures being much cheaper than this so i'm not entirely sure why they did that but yeah Afterwards we had a third version released, which is these ones you see right in front of you here, which contains the talking function and a base. Now the Sonic Adventure 1 function, the Sonic Adventure 1 original release also did contain a base, although I do believe it's slightly different. So yeah, that is pretty much all the facts and details of these figures. <laughs> as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, this was the final uh, version release of these figures. However, I have read a little bit online and there may have been a fourth version. I'm not entirely certain on that. Maybe if you uh, do know of a fourth version of these figures released, please let me know in the comment section below. <coughs> but basically, this is a little bit strange, the quotes for these characters are actually based off the Sonic Adventure 1 game. So when you press the talking function, you get a quote from Sonic Adventure 1. And for those that you don't know, Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic X used completely different voice actors, so it does sound a little bit strange that you're pressing a Sonic X themed toy and you're getting a Sonic Adventure 1 uh, voice acted quote. Uh, the voice cast for Sonic Adventure 1, they also did uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and I believe the last video game that featured that original voice cast actors was Sonic Heroes. Then when you had Sonic, uh, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog, sorry, you had Shadow the Hedgehog, a video game released in 2006. They recast uh, all the uh, video game 
voiceover actors and they replaced them all with the Sonic X uh, voice actors of whom they kept up until I believe it was Sonic Colors and then they recast them all again with the exception of Mike Pollock, uh, Dr. Eggman. So yeah, a little bit strange, so if there was a full version released of these figures that may have contained uh, Sonic X quotes then please let me, do, uh, please let me know um, and I will add that in the description. There was some Sonic X themed plushies that were released around this time, I do own in my collection, and they actually do contain uh, Sonic X quotes from the correct actors. But yeah, that's pretty much all the details of the licensing and the released version of these figures. Uh, these figures are completely brand new and I've never actually opened them, they've got the original seal in on them. Um, I don't plan to actually open them in this video, but you can get a pretty good understanding when I uh, go through each one and you can see pretty much clearly in detail. And I'm going to give you a little comparison to the smaller versions of these figures. So without further ado, let's have a look at these figures closer in detail. Okay, we're going to start with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I've positioned the light as best as I can so you can see this figure in as much detail as possible without the surface being too reflective on the camera. Now, as I already said, these figures came out in 2005, which was amazingly 11 years ago, and um, unfortunately, during that time, the batteries have died in towers and knuckles, and sadly, Sonic is the only figure that I have here that still works with the talking function. So, unfortunately, I can't show you uh, towers and knuckles' uh, quotes, but never fear, at least I can show you the quotes and how the talking function works with Sonic the Hedgehog. I can show you how the talking function works with the other two, but obviously you just sadly won't hear any uh, quotes coming out of them. So anyway, we'll do the box, uh, do a quick one over the box first. As you can see, you've got the official logo illustration of Sonic X here. I did enjoy the anime Sonic X. It gets an unfair amount of hate. I thought it was a pretty uh, overall decent show. But uh, nonetheless, I'm not here to do a debate on Sonic X. This is a review of the figures. You've got illustrations here of the characters released. As you've already seen, Sonic Knuckles and Tails at the top here. Collectible talking action figure, ages three and up. And the bottom part here, it says, press the button on his shoe to hear cool sound effects. Uh, poseable figure features matching display base. Fully articulated arms and legs features cool sound effects. And you've got the Fever uh, logo on the bottom left there. Turn them round. You've got Towers illustration there from Sonic X. And on the other side you have Knuckles. Looking at the back of the box here, you can see what the figures look like uh, on their bases. And it also gives you a pretty cool illustration of uh, Towers and Knuckles here. So if you was out buying these figures and you was contemplating on picking the others up, you get a pretty good idea of what the other two look like uh, on display. Posable figure features matching display base, so it's basically just repeating the same thing. It does tell you how to change the battery here on all of the characters' uh, feet, which is it's, it's, it's a nice feature because if you was uh, buying this and you had to replace one and you lost the box to the other, it does explain to you how to change the battery on each of the foot and it, w which foot it does have to go on. Now this is the bit that's quite, well I guess it's a little bit strange. Um, I will get to that in just a second, but it says here, collect all of our other Sonic X products which they've obviously released. The small one, there was also the Megabot line, and there was also like the Space Fighters ones, I can't think of the technical name of these, it might have been Space Fighters. And you had ones where you could combine uh, parts to make um, bad nicks, I believe one of them was Missile Wrist. But uh, as I said, these figures were released in the UK, this Fever line. It even has the address here for the distribution uh, center in the UK. However, you've got here it says catch it on the Fox Box. Now, the Fox Box was um, a television programming block that was only available in the United States. Uh, in the UK, you could find Sonic X available. At first, it was on Fox Kids before the channel changed its name to Jetix. And um, I believe it was the last channel that. Um, Edit. It was at one point on ITV1, or it was also known as CITV then, when it had that programming block, which was between 3 and 5 uh, in the weekdays. So yeah, it seems a bit strange that you've got the UK distribution address here, and yeah, it's advertising the American channel to catch it on. You'd have thought they'd have put at least the JX or the Fox Kids uh, logo there, but um, yeah, a little bit strange. The figure itself... It's a pretty big figure, as I've already said. I do have a tape measure. 
the box works out at nigh on exactly 10 inches so the figure itself is probably around eight and a half inches now it is the exact same mold as the smaller toy island figure as you can see it is exactly the same but it's probably around maybe treble the size as you can see if i put it down there you can see you can see if I, that's that's essentially side to side comparison you can see is about treble the size um, I don't think there's any extra details on the larger version I always did think this first version release of the Toy Island uh, Sonic figures it doesn't look bad it just I think Sonic's face kind of does look a little bit strange I've never his eyes always looked a little bit strange to me but um, no it's not a bad figure at all but as you can see it's exactly the same the exact same smile and everything even the uh, the hand pose the hands look a uh, look a lot better on the bigger figure but then they've got more material to uh, go with with the bigger figure it's always tricky to perform uh, decent hands on a small figure or even a small plush now the if you haven't guessed already you've got a little hole here in the packaging where to try me and there's a little button on the top of your shoe try to get it in the light yeah you can just see it there now this here so if I put it down and I can press it, you can hear him. So as you can see, uh, he only actually comes with two quotes, which is uh, is not great. But um, this is a, this is an older figure, an older toy line, I should say. Sorry. And uh, compared to some of the toys you see nowadays, which some of them have like over 50 to a even a hundred quotes when you press that but overall it does the job and it's like I said it's, it was a 15 pound figure a little bit strange as I said that it's a Sonic Adventure quote it's a Sonic X figure but what can you do anyway that's Sonic let's put him down and then we'll come to Taos Taos is uh, again another pretty uh, cool looking figure as I said I've never there's a couple of strange features with this figure line. I've never understood with the other figure with Sonic's eyes look a little bit weird. Tails has got a really strange mouth. It's very weird. Here is the smaller version, the Toy Island figure for Tails. You can see. Now the bigger one looks a lot better. Whereas the Sonic one looks kind of the same. They've kind of really improved the bigger Tails one. The legs on the Toy Island Tails look they look like they're coming out from the sides of his bodies so it's a little, a little bit I should say, it's very weird as you can see at least on the larger one they are properly proportioned but he does contain that kind of weird looking almost derpy style face but overall it's a pretty okay figure you can, you can actually see the base on the back of this one just that really orange bit Uh, the button on towels is on his left foot, but as I said, unfortunately, he doesn't work. The sides of the box are exactly the same as the Sonic one you've just seen. You've got Knuckles towels. I didn't show you the top of the Sonic one, but the top of the box does contain the illustration of Sonic. Um, this sticker here is the original sticker that was the code of the figure from the shop I bought from at the time, which was Argos. Um, I don't want to actually try to remove this sticker because I have a feeling it's going to remove um, a layer of the cardboard off this box. And here is the original ceiling for this figure. As I said, these figures are brand new and opened. Now the towels for this part of this figure are actually separate. You can just make out the instructions there on the right hand side. And you just have to screw his towels in and then he's good to go. And then you've got some more illustrations of Sonic uh, in, at the back. You've got towels illustration on the left there. Just see it there now. And Knuckles is this side, but he's covered by the instructions. Um, the small version of Towels, the Toy Island figure, you can actually wind these towels up um, and they do spin around for a little bit of a function. Let's see, so, not great. I'm not entirely sure if the big one does that. It doesn't just doesn't say on the box, but the fact that you can screw them in, maybe you can. But yeah, it's Towels. So we will get on to the final figure and the most heaviest from the set is Knuckles the Echidna. 
as you can see in terms of size comparison, although it's the same size box, he is the biggest figure. In fact, he has absolutely massive hands and a massive head. This one probably weighs maybe not too short of a kilogram, whereas the others are probably around six, seven hundred. So yes, here's Knuckles. Pretty cool. Here is the small tall Allen Knuckles comparison. As you can see, I think the bigger version of this figure looks a lot better again. They seem to get the uh, the grooves in his uh, eyebrows here on the bigger version a lot better. Again, the small one looks a little bit strange and his legs, again, are kind of coming out the sides of his bodies. A little bit weird. But then you've got to remember, these, this one, these ones at least were the very first uh, figures released for the uh, new designs for the Sonic Adventure. Uh, video game. So I don't really need to show you the box, but I'll just do it quickly. It's exactly the same. And yeah, the talking function for this Knuckles, it's actually a little bit hard to test on this one. It's actually disguised very well under his right boot under his hand, but again, unfortunately, the battery has died. So yes, that is Knuckles. Okay, and that pretty much concludes my review for the Fever Large Talking Sonic Action figures. Um, I wouldn't by any means say these figures are really rare. I did have a little look on eBay before I did this review, and I did find a couple of the figures. Some of them were boxed, and they were around £30. So although that's kind of double the value what they were when they were originally released, they're not really worth a great deal. Um, maybe the Sonic one might be a few quid more and if you can get it in good condition then maybe just another couple of quid more than that. If you do own the first released versions of these figures, the ones from 2000 uh, that coincided with Sonic Adventure 1, then you are talking money as I've seen them go for over uh, £100. Uh, so you're talking treble if not quadruple the value what these ones are. They are the ones that are mega bucks, so if you do own them ones, do not open them, whatever you do, if you want to keep the value as high as possible. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Sonic Collectible Review video, guys. Uh, if you have any ideas for any more future Sonic Collectible Reviews you'd like to see, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what you think of these figures uh, in general. I always um, uh, appreciate hearing you guys' uh, views and comments on uh, the Sonic uh, memorabilia that I review. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next video.